This exercise is called 10 friends and we'll be using the yellow bricks. So let's start by spreading them on the table. And what you will be telling the child now is that every brick has a special friend, a so-called 10 friend. So let's take a brick number 4. 4 has a special friend, it's 10 friend. That brick is number 6 because six, 4 plus 6 gives 10. This is a very important notion in the decimal system and we'll be using this in some of the later exercises. So let's see how does the brick guide the child. So let's take number 4 and number 6 and try to put them together using the juxtaposition. Let's see how this works. So we push the edges one against the other and you will see there is a perfect match and the match is actually on both sides because 6 is of course also 10 friends with 4 and vice versa. So these bricks, the bricks actually show that it matches. Let's take somebody else. 5 is not a 10 friend and you will see there is not a perfect match. There is a hole. And if we check from the other side you will see they don't even fit in. But if 5 is not the friend, who is then? How would we know? Let's see. Let's take number 8. The bricks can also help the child find the 10 friend. Let's swap them back against back. And here you see that 8, there's an overlap. So 8 is too big. 8 is not the friend because 8 is too big. Let's take somebody smaller. Let's take number 5. Again, back against back, we can see 5 is not the 10 friend because something is missing. So 5 is too small. 8 was too big and 5 was too small. So let's take a value in between and surprise number 6 matches. And we can see the match actually both by putting it side by side or back against back. We have no overlap.